You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. our family. Wow. I'll help you. Hmm. I could use a driver. Are you interested? Yes. Okay, Mr. Driver, point the way to the flowers so I can drop off this dirt. Over there. Uh-oh, look out. No brakes. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Come over. I have something to show you. Daddy, can I go? You sure can. It's a letter for you. It says Caillou, right there. There's a mistake in the number of the address. It says 15 Pine Street. That's my number. What's your number? Caillou knew there were numbers on his house, too. But he didn't remember what they were. Uh, let's go see. One and seven. That's 17. Look, I have a letter. Wow. Hmm. Mailed to 15 Pine Street. That's my address. At 15, it feels like a dream. <laughs> I made it up so I'd remember. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sarah. Caillou, do you know what our address is? Uh-uh. 17 Pine Street. Hey. How about we make our own rhyme? Uh, Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. My family's fine. The sun likes to shine. Come here and see us at 17 Pine. <laughs> we can write 17 on your house. There, 17. I better go back home now. We're supposed to go to the store soon. Bye. Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. Aye. <laughs> 17. I'm very impressed. What's this? <gasps> to Caillou. Let's see. Isn't this pretty? It reads, you are invited to my party Saturday at 1. And it's from Clementine. Yay! A party! I want to go! Let's call her to let her know you'll be there. You can also tell her your correct address. Okay, sweetie. It's Clementine's mom. You can tell her our address. Hi! Uh, Jelly Bean 17. Um... I am fine. I live on... Pine! I live at 17 Pine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Hi, Clementine. I'm coming to your party. A good friend. Are you ready to go? Leo will be here any minute. Yes. Caillou was going to the park with Mommy and Leo, and he wanted to take all his favorite toys with him. You can't take all those. How about you pick one or two? Why don't you leave your dinosaur? You don't want it to get dirty in the park. Okay. Dino's my new friend. I like Dino, too. I'll be back in a couple of hours. 
Okay. Bye. Try this. Boom, boom. <laughs> Let's go there. I can run fast. I can run faster. such a good time at the park with Leo. He wanted to see him again. You want to play tomorrow? Okay. Your Auntie Joan is coming tomorrow morning. But I want to play with Caillou. You could bring Leo tomorrow afternoon if you want. All right. Yay! Bye! And we played in the sandbox and on the jungle gym. Sounds like you had a really good time. Hello? Oh, hi. Really? I'll have a look around. Bye. That was Leo's mommy. Leo lost his toy dinosaur. Oh, no! Why don't you have a look to see if it's with your toys? Caillou knew how much Leo liked his new dinosaur. He must have left it somewhere. I know! He left his dinosaur at the park! I know where it is! Can we go get it? Hmm, it's gonna be dark soon. Leo's gonna have to get Dino tomorrow. Dino's going to be scared all alone in the dark. Well, I guess we could walk over to the park after dinner. Yay! Yay! Where else did you play? There and there. I don't see it. We better get home. It's getting dark. It looks like we're going to get some rain. Caillou was glad his dinosaur, Rexy, was safe. But he was worried about Leo's dinosaur. Dino's going to get all wet. Maybe someone put him in a nice, safe place. I bet Leo's really sad. You know what we'll do? Tomorrow when you get up, we'll make a lost poster and hang it up in the park. That made Caillou feel a lot better. The poster was sure to help find Dino. Good night, sweet dreams. The next day, Caillou made a poster to hang up in the park. job on your poster. Now, if someone has seen Dino, they can call Leo's house or ours. <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you? Leo lost his dinosaur. He did. Did you find it? No, but there's a lost and found department at the park office. You might find it there. Lost and found? What's that? If someone finds something and they don't know who owns it, they can leave it at the lost and found department. And if you've lost something, you know where to go to see if someone found it. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. Bye. Thank you. Look at all the things people lost. And Mommy, they don't know that someone has found them. Mm-hmm. Ha, 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 ha.
the lost and found, but he was upset that he hadn't found Leo's dinosaur. We have to go home and have lunch. Leo is coming this afternoon. What about Dino? It doesn't look like he's here. We'll just have to keep looking for him. I found him! Look, Mommy, I found Dino! Caillou was really happy he found Dino. for finding Dino. I didn't find him. Caillou did. You're my best, best friend, Caillou. Thanks. Let's play inside. I don't think Dino wants to be lost anymore. Just like me. It was a beautiful summer day and Caillou was playing in the park with Rosie. Caillou! Look, no more training wheels. Wow! Billy taught me. I like having a big brother. He teaches me lots of things. I teach Rosie lots, too. Like what? Um... Caillou tried to think what he had taught Rosie, but he couldn't remember. Time to get going! Caillou, come get your toys. Gotta go. Bye, Clementine. I'll close it. I'm her big brother. You certainly are. Caillou wanted to teach Rosie something, just like Billy had taught Clementine. Want to learn how to ride my bike, Rosie? Yay! <laughs> okay, now push the pedals. What are you doing, Caillou? Billy showed Clementine how to ride her bike. I want to show Rosie. There are some things Rosie's too young for right now. Just like you used to be when you were her age. Juju! No, Rosie, don't take it apart. Watch, Rosie. I'll show you. You put it together like this. <laughs> Caillou was very excited he taught Rosie to put the train track together. He wanted to show Mommy. Look, Mommy. Come see. Okay. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> I guess Rosie's not old enough to put the train set together. Come on, you two. Lunch is ready. Why don't you show Rosie how to eat spaghetti? Rosie, watch. You take the four and put the spaghetti like this. <laughs> Paschetti! I guess I'm not a very good big brother. I can't teach her anything. That's not true. She watches everything you do and copies it. That's one of the ways she learns. Really? Sure. I know something you can teach her. How about that song we used to sing before bed? A, B, C, D. Oh! Sing. It's called the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, F, G, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She did it. <laughs> you can't stop there. There's still the rest of the alphabet to go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Just in time. Wake up, Caillou. It's time for breakfast. No dawdling this morning. We don't have much time before we meet Leo at the park. <gasps> okay. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou thought about getting some breakfast, but when he saw his toy car, 
He couldn't help but stop and play with it. It's about time. Rosie's already finished her breakfast. Car, car! Not now, Rosie. I have to eat breakfast. You'd better hurry. You still have to get changed and brush your teeth. Caillou was having such a good time playing with his car, he forgot about brushing his teeth. Caillou! You're still not ready? Uh-oh. Hmm. Caillou was taking a long time deciding which shirt to wear. Caillou, we're ready to go. Coming! Caillou was finding all sorts of interesting things on the way to the playground. A caterpillar! It's very pretty, but we should keep going. It's not polite to keep Leo and his mommy waiting. There he is! Caillou wondered why Leo was leaving the playground. Hello! We waited for you as long as we could, but we have to get going now. Oh, sorry we're so late. Bye, Caillou. Maybe we can play later. Bye. Bye. It took so long for you to get ready, and now we hardly have any time left to play. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't play with Leo. Almost ready for your bedtime story? Can you read me three bedtime stories, Daddy? I don't know if he can. Remember what happened today when we ran out of time? It depends how long you take getting ready. I know. How about we make it a game? When I turn this timer upside down, you've got five minutes to get ready for bed before all the sand gets to the bottom. On your mark, get set, go! Caillou really wanted Daddy to read three stories. I did it! I went fast, Daddy! <laughs> you sure did, Caillou. That deserves three bedtime stories. Caillou was very happy that he got ready on time. I like that game, Daddy. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Caillou. And he used to take a lot of time to do things. Mr. Fixit. Caillou liked laundry day. The whole house smelled nice. Daddy, Gilbert is helping you fold the laundry. <laughs> Gilbert, silly cat. That's no place for you. I know I put two socks in the washer. Now, where did the other one go? Huh? Ooh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Mommy, we're washing the clothes and the basement. Well, I think I better call someone to fix it before we wash the whole house. Why don't we call the man who fixed the dryer last year? The next day, someone knocked at the door. Hi, Bob, isn't it? Yes, good to see you again. And Caillou, isn't it? Do you remember me? I'm Bob, and I'm here to fix your washing machine. It's not my machine. It's my mommy and daddy's. But I know where it is. It was fine until yesterday. Come on, Caillou. We'll let Bob work in peace. Oh, that's all right. I can use the help. I have my own tools. I'll be right back. How to fix things too. These are very nice tools. Oh, I like this one. It's called a wrench. Do you know what it's for? Uh huh. No. It's for tightening things. Here, hop up here on this chair and I'll show you. You fit the wrench onto this bolt and turn it like this. That tightens it. Do you want to give it a try? Uh. Good job. 
See, now we tighten this all the way, put the cap on, and we're done. It sounds much better now. I helped fix it, Daddy. He sure did. Ah, I found this wrapped around the stem. Aha, uh -huh, my missing sock. Daddy, can I fix something for you? Sure, I could use a hand hammering this nail into the wall. Okay, now hit that nail with the hammer. Not too hard. Good job. Mommy, I helped that man fix the washing machine, and I helped Daddy, too. Thank you, Caillou. That's very wobbly, but I bet you could help Daddy fix it. There, that should make it stable. And now for the most important part, the glue. Do you want to do it, Caillou? Yeah! How's my little handyman doing? Is it fixed, Caillou? Yes, it is! And this time, Daddy helped me. Rosie! She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. Because I'm her big brother. 